In the world of entertainment today, a bright and vibrant medium is anime. Day by day, this anime's interesting story and diverse characters are enthralling viewers worldwide. So in today's video, without talking about any specific anime, we will tell you about the entire animation industry and its birth and evolution. Let's know how this anime journey started, how does it cross the borders of the country, and became so popular all over the world. For a long time ago, manga and colorful entertainment had been popular in Japan. For example, the 1917 Nakamura Gatana, which is a two-minute short and silent animated film. It was one of the earliest animations. After this, the Japanese government began to use it to create public relations between campaigns and wars. In 1940, Japan produced a full-scale animated movie called Momotaro's Sea Eagles. Momotaro's Sea Eagles was one of Japan's early propaganda movies that depicted Japanese soldiers as human-like animals. After this film in 1963, Japan produced its first television show called Tetsuwan Atomu, also known as Astro Boy in English. Astro Boy is created by Osamu Tezuka, who is still called the god of manga or father of anime in the anime industry. Astro Boy was also a war-related show somewhere, but instead of negative propaganda, they were positive messages for children after the war. Later, Osamu Tezuka opened his own production company called Mushi Productions. This company gave a lot of direction to the initial structure of the Japanese animations. In the era of 1970, it was at that time when many new legends began to be created in the Japanese animation industry. Coming to Japanese anime in the 1970s, mecha anime such as G-Force, Battle of the Planet and Star Blazer are from this era. By 1979, Mobile Gundam had become a popular anime series. Due to this, it was given three theatrical releases. After so many major events, it was in 1986 that Japanese anime became more popular in pop culture around the world. This major change came when Akira Toriyama released Dragon Ball, and later reached Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. After that, Sailor Moon came in 1995, and after that in 1999, Pokemon. Like Pokemon created a storm in the entire American and world market which is running to date. Now after all this, then the era of the 2000s came, where Death Note, Naruto, and other big anime titles made the world's anime franchises so popular, the results of which we can still see today. Now we will talk about how Japanese anime reached the world market. The situation was such that the anime being made in Japan was gradually becoming very popular. But the major growth in popularity came when in the year 1968, the mass role of his main Astro Boy was telecast for the first on American television. At the time, Disney was at the top of the American television and world animation market. But when American viewers first saw Astro Boy, it was a little different for them. And different shows like that and the little robot boy changed the picture of the entire US animation market. And the first thing that is needed for the popularity of something is the consumer. And it got it. So after Astro Boy, anime like Gigantor, Kimba, The White Lion, and Speed Racer were telecasted on US television. After that, in 1990, anime like Pokemon, One Piece, and Dragon Ball came and attracted the world audience and Western culture so much no one could have thought. And today, 2024, we understand very well the extent of the Japanese anime craze today, and this craze will get higher and higher. 